morning all. My name is B. Santosh Kumar, Assistant Professor, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. My subject is Computer Architecture. Today I am discussing about arithmetic micro operations. So in the arithmetic micro operations, there are different types of micro operations are there. First of all, register transfer micro operation, arithmetic micro operation, logical micro operation, shift to micro operation. So each one we'll discuss now. First one, register transfer micro operation. The transfer binary information from one register to another register. Arithmetic micro operation. Perform arithmetic operations on numeric data stored in registers. Logical micro operations. Perform bit manipulation operations on data stored in registers. Shift to micro operations. Perform shift operations on data stored in registers. So, what is arithmetic micro operation? Arithmetic means addition, subtraction, multiplication, division like this. And uh, we are going for the logical. So, arithmetic and logical operations are performing here. So, what we are going for the arithmetic operations, we definitely we need some registers. Uh, so, without registers, we can't do any arithmetic operations. And here, register transfer means uh, uh, one type of data in the stored in the register will transfer into the another register. So, one register data is transferred to the another register. Suppose uh, I have the data in 8-bit register. So, this 8-bit register I have to transfer to the another 8-bit register. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. But I have the 8-bit register of information is there. I have to store in the 4-bit. Four four is it possible? No, it is not possible. So, here we have to choose which type of data, which type of uh, storage capacity of the register is there. You have to choose from source to distinction same. And arithmetic means uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Logical operations means performing uh, some logic gates uh, and or XOR, NOR like this. And the shift operations means we are going for the performing of shift of data stored. So shifting means we are, uh, we are shifting the data from one register to another register. So first one we are going for the register transfer micro operation. So transfer of binary information from one register to another register. Suppose I am taking one register is it it is the 8 bit of register it is r1 and i am taking the r2 another it is a 8 bit of register so this bit this uh, 101010 so it is a binary bit of 8 bit i am transferring from r1 to r2 so this is also copying from 1010101 so register transfer means this r1 register what is the data is there this same data is copying to the R2 register. So, transferring to the R2. So, the same 8 bit of information is, uh, is uh, transferring from R1 to R2. So, that is a register transfer micro operation. And arithmetic micro operation means arithmetic operations means addition, add, subtract, multiplication, division, shift like this. And uh, it is a arithmetic operation. Logical means and or XOR nor like this and logical this is and shift operations which perform shift operations for data stored in register so in the one in the uh, in the memory some data will be there one 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 type of memory of the data is transferring to the another type of memory uh, transferring that is a shift to micro operations so first one arithmetic micro operation in general arithmetic micro operations deals with the operations performed on numeric data stored in the registers the basic arithmetic micro operations are classified in the following categories addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, increment, decrement, shift, like this. And some addition arithmetic micro operations are add with carry, subtract with borrow, transfer or load, etc. So arithmetic operations are taking addition. So addition of uh, addition of two numbers. Suppose I have to add A comma B. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible with I'm taking the add a comma b so i'm taking the instruction as a add and uh, subtraction means what is the instruction for subtraction means sub a comma b and the multiplication means mul a comma b division means div a comma b like this so increment means inc increment a increment b increment c and decrement means decrement a decrement b so decrement means we are decreasing one value of a register decrement b means we are decrementing the b value of uh, register b increment means we are incrementing one value one one increment value or one de uh, one in decrement value dec shift means we are shifting the 
A1 A register value to the B register or R1 to R2. Suppose in the A, A equal to 5 is there. I want to shift this value to the B. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. After the shift operation, shift A to B means A to B means 5 is going to the B. The, the, after then, after the shift operation, B equal to 5. A equal to empty. What do you have to do? You can give. Suppose I am giving shift here B equal to 3. Shift B equal to A means B value is shifted to A value. Here A equal to 3. Originally A equal to 5, B equal to 3. After the shifting, B equal to 5, A equal to 3. So, like this. These are the automatic micro operations. And some additional automatic micro operations are classified. Add with carry, subtract with borrow, transfer or load operations. Add with carry means, suppose uh, I have to add two numbers. Suppose I have to add 1, 0, 1, 0. 0 plus 0, 0. So, uh, example I am taking 0, 1. Example 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. Is it any any carry we need? No. Without It is a without carry. Suppose I have to add 1, 0 and double 1. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 1, 1, 0. So, we need carry or not? Suppose I am taking another example. One plus one, one plus one, ten, zero, one, one. So here is is it carry or not? One plus one, like this. So here it is a carry S. In the arithmetic operations, zero plus zero equal to zero, zero plus one equal to one, one plus zero equal to one, one plus one equal to one is a carry, and B is a resultant value. Okay, one plus one equal to zero, one is a carry. So here I am adding add with carry. Add with carry means here I am taking 1 plus 1 equal to 0. What is a carry? 1 is a carry. So carry is added to 1 plus 0 plus 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1. So already we know that what is the 1 plus 0 value? 1. 1 plus 0 equal to 1. 1 plus 1 equal to 0 and carry equal to 1. It is a carry value. Resultant value is 0, 0. And what is a carry means? Carry equal to 1. Carry with add with carry. Next to subtract with borrow. Means borrow means suppose so 0 minus 1 is possible? No. I am taking the borrow from here. Okay. So I am taking the borrow then only the, we are doing the subtraction. So if if you need a borrow you can take the borrow and subtract and transfer or load etc. Transfer means we are we are transferring from one da one type of register of the data into the another type of register. Okay, this is a transfer or load. So, addition, subtraction, increment, decrement, shift operations are under arithmetic operations. And some addition, especially I am calling about addition arithmetic micro operations are add with carry, subtract with borrow, and transfer or load operations. So, for this also we need. Uh, arithmetic operations with addition. So, when I am going for the add with carry, already we know that. Subtract with borrow means, suppose I am taking 9 minus 5, we know that 4, but 5 minus 9, 5, and 5 minus 9, but in the binary, how it is possible means, we are going for the 1's complement and 2's complement, then only we are addition of A plus B. For, for, this, for this only we need Subtract with borrow. So, the following table shows the symbolic representation of various arithmetic micro operations. First one I am taking R1 plus R2 tends to R3. That means the content of R1 plus R2 are transferring to the R3. Suppose R1 equal to some 1, 0, R2 equal to some 1, 0. So, R3 means R1 plus R2 means 1, 0 plus. 1, 0. So, what is the resultant value? Already we know that 1, 0, 0. 0 plus 0, 1 plus 1, 100. So, this 100 result value is transferred to the R3. So, what is R3 value now? 1, double 0. So, next R1 minus R2. So, here I am taking R1 equal to 1, 0, R2 equal to 0, 1. 
So what is the value now? So I'm taking that. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible with, with this one. So what is the one zero value here now? One zero means two power zero, two power one means two. Here two power zero means one. What is the value means zero one. So here is zero one. So what is the final value? R three equal to zero one. So R one minus R two tends to R three. R one equal to one zero. R two equal to zero one. So what is the resultant value? R three equal to zero one. So it is the resultant value of R three. Next R two tends to R two complement. Complement of R two. Complement means nothing but a ones complement. So what is the ones complement? Zero tends to one. One tends to zero. So it is zeros. Ones complement of ones complement of zero equal to one. Ones complement of one equal to zero. So zero is converting to the one. One is converting to the zero. Okay. Here also, suppose I am taking R two equal to one. What is the R two complement? Zero. Suppose here I am taking R two equal to zero. What is the R two complement? One. So here R two complement equal to R two complement equal to R two. So what is the complement of R two value? That is the R two bar. So R two complement. R two of once once complement of R two that is called R two bar. Once complement of R two that is called R two bar. So suppose I am giving R two equal to zero. What is R R two equal to zero means what is the R R two complement one. So if I am giving the input zero, output is one. Here also R two bar plus one. Two's complement means after the Once complement, we are adding value with value of one. So, <coughs> suppose here I am taking R two equal to one. What is the value of R two bar? Zero. So, I am asking here R two bar plus one means. Ones complement adding with one, so R two bar equal to zero plus one one. So what is the two's complement of R two bar? R two bar plus one equal to here one. So R two equal to one. R two two's complement of R two is also one. So input R two equal to one. Two's complement of R two is also one. So same value is applicable here. It means a ones complement of R two plus again we are adding one. To that one, so that is called the two's complement. One's complement after the getting the result of one's complement, I'm adding plus one. That is called two's complement. So two's complement that means R two bar equal to R two bar plus one equal to R two. Here R three tends to R one plus R two bar plus one means here it is the two's complement of R two then R one. So R one plus two's complement of R two. R one plus Two's complement of R two, R one plus two's complement of R two. The resultant value is R three. Here R one tends to R one plus one, incrementing of R one. So what is the R one value? Suppose R one equal to zero. I am adding increment. This means zero plus one, and that is called. Uh, suppose R one equal to zero. Zero plus one equal to one. R one equal to one. Suppose R one equal to one. R two plus one plus one equal to ten. Zero and one carry. So here decrement. Suppose R one equal to one. One minus one zero. What is the value of R one? R one equal to zero. Why? Because I am decremented the value of R one. So next one is a binary adder. Digital circuit that performs the arithmetic sum of two bits and the previous carry is called full adder. The digital circuit that generates the arithmetic sum of two binary numbers any length is called binary adder. Figure shows the interconnections of four. Full adders to provide a four-bit binary adder. So I am taking here binary adder. That means in the digital circuit that forms arithmetic sum of two bits of the previous carry is called full adder. So now two bits and the previous value is called two bits. Total how many four bits? So the digital circuit that generates arithmetic sum of two binary bits, a length is called binary adder. So here I am taking a and b. So suppose here a equal to zero. And b equal to zero. Zero plus zero, how much? Zero. So c one equal to zero. Is it any carry? No. Suppose here one plus one. One plus one, how much? Zero. 
plus carry called one s the carry called one so the carry is uh, transferred to here suppose like this i am taking 1 0 double 1 1 triple 0 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 0 0 1 plus 1 10 is it carry is there yes the carry is transferred to c4 c1 c2 c3 c4 carries out 1 2 3 4 after the four digits the carry is there suppose here i am taking suppose i am taking 1 1 plus 1 0 is it any carry yes where is transferred this carry is transferred to the next bit so this carry is even is transferred to the next level so 1 plus 0 plus this carry value here input is 1 here 1 1 plus 1 0 and the carry is there yes the carry is there it is a carry value 1 plus 0 plus 1 like this okay it is transferred finally what is the carry value it is a full adder why because i am taking 4 bits 1 2 3 4 bit it is a 4 bit that is called a full adder if i am taking half atom h i am taking only 2 bits like this. Suppose I am taking full adder means zero plus one, one, one plus one, zero and carry called one or one. Yes, like this carries I am calling as a full adder. If I am is here is I am getting any carry? No, here I am not getting any carry. That is a half adder. If I am getting the carry, that is carry forward to the next level, that is called a full adder. So, the augment bits of A and the adder bits of B are designed by the subscript members from right to left with the subscript 0 uh, denoting the lower order bit. The carries are connected in a chain through the full adders. The input carry to the binary adder is C0 and the output carry is C4. The S output of the full adder generates the required sum bits. If an input binary adder requires n full adders, then I am taking how many are there in the here? input a b and is it any carry a carry then it is added if there is no carry no added suppose 0 plus 0 what is answer 0 is it any carry no 0 plus 0 is it any carry actually no but here carry is there suppose carry is there 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 is it any carry no 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 0 and carry equal to 1 1 plus 1 equal to 0 value and carry equal to 1 1 plus 0 1 1 uh, 0 1 plus 0 1 is it carry no 1 plus 0 1 and uh, 1 plus 1 carry equal to uh, 1 sub equal to 0 1 plus 1 0 and carry 1 1 plus 1 0 and carry equal to 1 but here 1 plus 1 equal to 0 again it is adding to the 1 so like this so here i am taking a equal to 1 b equal to 1 so what is happen a equal to 1 b equal to 1 is it any carry yes it is a carry then what is our sum equal to sum equal to 1 carry out equal to 1 if i am taking a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 carry equal to 1 so a equal to 0 b equal to 0 carry equal to 1 what will happen sum equal to 1 carry equal to 0 like this binary adder subtractor the subtraction micro operation can be done easily by taking the two's complement of add and bits and adding into the augment bits. The arithmetic micro operations like addition and subtraction can be combined into one common circuit by including an exclusive OR gate with each full adder. The block diagram of four adder subtraction circuit can be representation. So here I am taking binary adder subtraction. When I am going for the adder subtraction means it is a subtraction when we are applying the ones or twos complement to the subtractor then it is the binary adder we need. So, they like this operations called exclusive OR gate with which full adder. Suppose here a, a equal to 0 and b equal to 0. If it any carry means it is forwarded to this one. If there is no carry means carry equal to 0 to forwarded to this. Okay, it is a addition subtraction. And when mode a m is a low logic and 0 is a circuit of act of adder, when the mode input is high, then the circuit acts as a subtractor. The exclusive OR gate connected in series 
receives input m and one of the input b when m is at low logic we have b plus is equal to b and full address is receive the value of b and the input carry code is 0 the circuit performs a plus b so b plus 1 equal to b bar then carry equal to 1 it is a two's complement of b so binary incrementer means we are incrementing the value of b so the incremental micro operation adds one binary value to the value of binary variable stored in a register the instance of 4 bit register has a 0110 when increment by the value of becomes 0 triple 1 0 double 1 0 how much i want to increment only one value increment at the lower side 0 plus 1 1 1 1 0 what is the 0 now 0 triple 1 so i am incremented the value INC increment 0 double 1 0. So, what is the value now? 0 triple. What is the process means? This is at the lower order side. I have added 1 now. So, it is called the binary increment. Mostly we are taking as a 4 bit combination circuit. And a logic 1 applied to one of the input of uh, least significant half adder, and the other input is connected to the least significant bit of the number of bits incremented. And the output carry from the half adder is connected to one of the next higher order half adder. The binary increment circuit receives the 4 bit from A0 through A3, add 1 to it and generates the incremental output S0 through S2. S0 through S2, S3 means S0, S1, S2, S3. How many are there? 4 bit. So, C4 will be one of the incrementing of all fours. Like this. Okay. Half adder means I am taking only one value. Okay, 0 plus 1, 1 plus 0, 0 plus 0. So, these are the arithmetic micro operations. Here, already we discussed here. So, in the types of micro operations, register transfer micro operation, arithmetic micro operation, logical micro operation, shift to micro operation. How many are there here? Four types of operations were performed. So, in the register transfer operation, arithmetic micro operation means addition, subtraction, increment, decrement and shift operation. These are the under arithmetic micro operations and some additional arithmetic operations are called classified as add with carry, subtract with borrow and transfer and load etc. So, here R plus R2. But before going to this one, addition means already we know that add means addition what is what is the add means add sub add, add means addition sub means subtraction so mul means multiplication so like this decrement and increment like this so some additional arithmetic microversions are classified as add with carry subtract with borrow transfer or load etc so here R1 plus R2 means the addition of two register values are added. The resultant will be stored in R3. Suppose here R1 equal to 1, R2 equal to 0. So 1 plus 0, 1. So what is the resultant value? R3. The value of R3 value stored in R3. So resultant value R2 plus after the addition of R1 plus R2, the resultant value is stored in R3. R1 minus R2 means we are subtracting the values of R1 and R2. The resultant value is stored in R3. R2 complement means we are complementing. R2 equal to 1, R2 bar equal to 0. R2 equal to 0, then R2 bar equal to 1, like this. So we are complementing of the values. After the complementing, we are adding plus 1 means that is a 2's complement. So R1 plus, R1 plus 1 means we are incrementing. R1 minus 1 means we are decrementing. So binary adder means uh, we are taking the 2 bit of inputs and ca carry is forwarded to the next level. So how many inputs are there means totally we are taking 3. A and B are the inputs and C is the carry forwarded to the next level. So S1, S2, S0, S1, S2, S3 are the resultant values of each, each bit, each full adder. So how many here they means? Total full adders are there. Means total 4 bit operation, 4 bit adder. So here also I am taking the truth table of full adder 
with a b are the inputs and c is a carry and sum and carry out like this so binary adder subtractor means if i am taking the ones and twos complement of the subtraction suppose i am taking 1 minus 0 we know that 1 but what about the 0 minus 1 what about the 0 minus 1 then for this uh, the for this one we have to perform twos complement to perform the twos complement definitely we need addition for this one here also when i am going for the twos complement when you are going for the twos complement we can observe here or to bar plus 1 plus 1 means addition or to bar equal to ones complement ones complement adding with 1 means that is called twos complement so for the twos complement i need addition for the subtracting operation so it is a modified or mode input m and b plus 0 equal to b and exclusive or get is a input m and one of the input is b b plus 1 equal to b bar c naught equal to 1 when i applying the twos complement to the b but why because i am taking a minus b means 0 minus 1 like this operations so binary incrementer means we are incrementing the micro operation adds one binary value to the value of binary variable stored in a register and for instance 4 bit register has a binary value 0 double 1 0 when incrementing by the one of the value becomes 0 triple 1 I am taking here triple zero one. So what uh, I mean I am adding one here. What is the value of one plus one? Zero and carry equal to one. Zero plus one, one, zero, zero. So what is the value of five? Zero zero one zero. So triple zero one increment of triple zero one. What is the value here now? Zero zero one zero. It is the output value. Here also the the increment micro operation adds one binary value to the value of binary variable stored in a register for instance a 4 bit register has a binary value 0 double 1 0 when incremented by the value becomes 0 triple 1 here the increment micro operation is the best implementing of 4 bit combination circuit to incrementing the value and a 4 bit combination circuit incrementing can be represented by the following diagram here i am taking the incrementing value here i am taking suppose equal to 0 incrementing means 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 how much? 1. Is it any carry? No. Carry equal to 0. Suppose the input equal to 1. The input equal to 1. Ba, ba, I mean I am incrementing means 1 plus 1. What is the 1 plus 1 value? 1 plus 1 equal to 0 is the sum value. 1 is a carry value. So sum equal to 0 and carry equal to 1. This carry is transferred to here. So here next value equal to 1. Suppose here a, a not equal to 1. Already is it any carry? Yes. 1 plus 1 equal to 10. That is a sum value equal to 0, carry equal to 1. Here also I am taking 1. Here 0. 0 plus 1, 1. Sum equal to 1, carry equal to 0. So 0 means, is it any? 1 plus 0, 1. Carry equal to 0. So it is a logic one is applied to the one of the input of the least significant half adder and the other input is connected to the least significant bit of the number of incremented and the output carry from one half adder is connected to one of the input of the next higher order half adder. The binary incrementing circuit receives the bit from A0 through A3. A0 through A3 means A0, A1, A2 and A3. So maximum of taking, suppose I am taking a0 equal to 1, a1 equal to 1, a2 equal to 1, a3 equal to 1. How many bits are there? The maximum of 1, 1, 1, 1. What is the least value? 0, 0, 0, 0. What is the highest value? 1, 1, 1, 1. So, C4 will be the one of the only the incrementing value of 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. These are the references. Okay. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.